Welcome to All Plan Quick Start Lesson FEM Reinforcement. In this lesson, you will learn how to export the model to a structural analysis software and use the FEM results to automatically reinforce the slab. BIM is already a standard in many countries, and this method can be used to exchange information between a statics office and a detailing office. Thanks to the IFC certification of both software, the BIM model can be easily exchanged between Allplan and SEER Engineer. In this example, the Allplan model will be exported into SEER Engineer and the required reinforcement, resulting from the structural analysis, will be imported back into Allplan as FEM isobands. The required theoretical reinforcement will then be covered by the practical reinforcement provided in Allplan. Allplan allows the user to export the 3D model in most common graphical formats. The standard file format for BIM is IFC. If SEER Engineer is already installed on the computer, you have the option to export the file directly into a SEER project. The export brings a log file and you can see exactly the number of entities exported. You'll click OK to close the log. SEER Engineer will launch automatically and import the IFC file. Like any structural analysis software, SEER works with analytical models. An essential function that SEER provides is the BIM toolbox that enables automatic alignment of structural elements according to planes. This allows the generation of an analytical model from the initial structural model while maintaining the same geometry. After the model is properly aligned, the engineer will add the loads, generate combinations. By running a finite element analysis, the user can visualize results like deflections, stress distribution, internal forces, and many more. A draftsman will actually need to know the required theoretical reinforcement. This can be generated automatically by the software using the Concrete Advanced module. The software will calculate the top and bottom required reinforcement on the two main orthogonal directions. The final product of this design is an ASF file which needs to be sent to the all-plan user. You can download this file from the link in the description. You will start by selecting the required drawings by going to open project specific basis. In this lesson, you will need to keep drawing slab above cafe in edit mode and select a drawing from reinforcement of terrace as active drawing. You can click F2 to rename this drawing and hit close to exit the project specific basis. You will select the engineering role and then go to Teamwork tab. Select Import FEA files from the Import category. You will point the path where the ASF file has been saved using the Windows Navigator on the top left corner. Check the file on the lower left corner, then select Drawing 20 and click on Transfer. To finalize the import, you will have to click on the Import button. On the lower left corner, you can also check what other format files are supported for reinforcement design. You will now close the window by clicking on OK. Go to the Reinforcement tab and in the Quick Access panel, you will find FEA Reinforcement Color Image option. The imported ASF file appears listed here. In this step, the bottom bar reinforcement will be selected, other settings are related to the bar overlapping and the stress type. Click OK to close the window. On the right-hand side, you can see two windows that contain reinforcement diagrams represented in isobands. These windows indicate the theoretical required lower reinforcement in X-direction, and in Y direction. 
The color legend allows the user to estimate the actual area of reinforcement required and to identify the stress concentrators in the slab. White means no theoretical reinforcement is needed, while the violet colors indicate a reinforcement of more than 4.85 square centimeters is required in that particular area. Now you will define a polygon of reinforcement using Area Reinforcement tool. Choose Span Reinforcement and in the dialog box input the concrete cover. To define the polygon, you need to left-click on the top left corner, left-click on the lower right corner, and hit Escape. Three meters is the coordinate of the lowest point of the slab, and 0.2 meters is the slab thickness. In this tab, you will input the concrete cover of 2.5 centimeters from the bottom of the slab. A bar placement proposal appears, and you can change different parameters like the bar diameter, bar spacing, hook type, and geometry. You can also choose the start direction of the reinforcement to reposition the overlapping in a better spot. You will choose not to display all reinforcement bars, but instead only a folded one. Click OK to generate the reinforcement. For each placement, you will need to select the bar you want to show and the direction to fold it. A proper dimension line will describe the entire placement. The description of the bars are fully customizable from information and graphical point of view. Click where you want to position the dimension line and click on the reinforcement to inherit its rotation. Same procedure will be done to the overlapping bar. Now take a look on the top right window. Everything turned white, which means that you provided sufficient practical reinforcement for the bottom of the slab in the Y direction. To cover the orthogonal direction, you will simply click on the match button situated on top and on any existing bar to match its polygon. All plan will inherit all geometric properties of the polygon and will also add to the concrete cover the diameter of the previously created reinforcement bar. All plan also detected the previous reinforcement, so it automatically rotated the bars 90 degrees. Inverting the direction of the start bars doesn't help in this situation. What you can do instead is to change the length of the first bar so that the overlapping is done in an area which has minimum tensile stresses. Click OK to confirm. Now you can see three overlapping areas, which means that three different marks have been generated. To clean up the drawing, you will have to select the bars you want to keep and add their corresponding labels. Clicking on a bar automatically inherits its rotation. After hiding the last bar, you will see that most of the colors will vanish. This means that the provided reinforcement is now higher than the theoretically required one. One of the main reasons for designing reinforced concrete slabs in finite element method softwares is to be able to identify the stress concentrators. These peaked results appear usually at intersections between columns, wall edges and slabs. By using the FEM reinforcement method, you can visualize directly in all plan the required reinforcement and the area that needs to be covered without having to read an engineering report or doing approximations. In all plan, you can use span reinforcement to define a polygon around a stress concentration. Keep in mind that the polygon should exceed the colored area with the anchorage length. By doing two diagonally opposed clicks, you can define the reinforcement polygon. You can also see the area of practical reinforcement in this box before actually generating it. 
After selecting a bar and positioning the dimension, line and text, the practical reinforcement is subtracted from the theoretical one. As you can see, the provided reinforcement was not yet enough. To change an already placed reinforcement, you can right-click on a bar and select Modify Placement Geometry. Then, go to the Feast sign and change the reinforcement to 14 mm. Hit OK to update the results. As before, you can match the polygon and the software will recalculate the concrete cover and rotate the reinforcement 90 degrees. Let's also check the quantities to see how much reinforcement goes inside this slab. Everything you modeled so far is 3D and thus can be seen in the animation window. A special feature of Allplan is to display the bars in colors by mark or diameter. To activate this feature, go to Options, Desktop Environment, Animation. Here on the Bar Reinforcement drop-down list, select surface colors from mark numbers. Click OK to close the options. There's also the possibility to view bars by colors in the plan view. To activate this feature, go to View, Show Hide, and select the colored reinforcement in plan view. This feature allows precise tracking of the reinforcement. Generating the bending schedule is two clicks away. You will hover over Reinforcement Reports and click on Reinforcement Bar Legend. Select Default Model 40 and OK to close the window. All bars are fully detailed in this schedule, just as a fabricator requires them to be. By manually placing reinforcement, we obtained around three tons of steel. Let's see now if there's another faster and more economical solution for this. Go to Project Specific Basis and extend the reinforcement of Terrace Folder. To add a new drawing, right-click on this folder and select Assign Drawing File Numbers. Type the number of the next drawing to add a new empty file. Press F2 to rename the drawing and close to get back to the model. Go to FEA Reinforcement Update to reactivate the isobands view. Change the scale to 1 to 50, as this is the scale we choose for detailing. Now go to Area Reinforcement and choose Automatic Span Reinforcement. Here you can make adjustments like changing the slab thickness, input minimum and maximum diameters and spacing. Make sure the basic reinforcement is selected so that the software will provide the minimum code dependent reinforcement even in areas without tensile stresses. In the same manner as before, a polygon will be created by left-clicking on two diagonal opposite points and ending the function with escape. In this window, you can change the basic reinforcement settings on each direction or change the reinforcement from bars to meshes. Click OK to finalize the process. The 3D reinforcement and labeling has been generated automatically. The software will also provide log regarding the results. A total of less than two tons of steel have been distributed according to this method. Exporting the reinforcement data for fabrication can be done in multiple ways depending on the level of development of the fabricator. You can generate a very basic Excel file that you can copy and paste on the plans. This is similar to the traditional 2D detailing, but with the values generated automatically. If the factory requires a notebook with all the required reinforcement on A4 format without any additional plans, you can generate a report. This report can be exported into Excel, placed in all plan, saved as a PDF, or exported as an editable Word document. 
The most advanced method, however, is exporting directly into bending machine format. You simply click on bending machine button and the software generates an ABS file. This file contains the exact instructions for the bending robots to produce the reinforcement. This is the most practical export as it will save time for the factory employee who doesn't need to remodel again all the bar shapes in the machine's software. In our next lesson, you will learn how to 3D reinforce walls with openings.